Namaste everyone this is Sai Sri and welcome back to my channel in this video let us see how to simulate pn junction diode in forward bias and in reverse bias this video took me a lot of time in order to edit give you a voice over so please do subscribe press the bell icon like share to your friends if it is informative so firstly before jumping into the video if you don't know the multisim tutorial nothing but the basics of the multisim like placing the component how to select the components all those things please do watch multisim tutorial i will drop the link in the description box as well as in the comment box so firstly the interface of the multisim will be like this as we all know so first of all i want to simulate the forward bias pn junction diode in the forward bias in order to open the new schematic just click on file and then new so that a new schematic will be open to you that is nothing but new form or the new breadboard in order to connect your circuit components will be open now we have to place the components required for the pn junction diode i am selecting place and then components now i want 1 kilo ohm resistor so select basics in all groups you can see a small arrow there you can select all basics and then i am searching for the 1 kilo ohm click on okay and then place the component on the breadboard drag it and give a click on the mouse thus the component will be placed now i want dc source of 30 volts so i am searching for the sources in the same arrow where we have selected the basics so click on the arrow you can see the sources click on sources now select dc source dc source so this is a dc source which we required for the pn junction diode so place it but we want 30 volt we can change it later so first of all i want all the components required so i am placing all the components required so this is the dc source of 30 volt 12 volts actually it is so i want 30 volt i can change later now i want the main component that is pn junction diode so for that select all groups and then search for in 4007g so it is a germanium diode so the cut off will be 0.3 to 0.4 so this is the pn junction diode select okay so for the forward bias the positive terminal of the battery is connected to the positive of the pn junction and negative terminal is connected to the negative terminal so same thing we will do so the negative is to be grounded so i just want to rotate it so in order to rotate it i just have to click control plus r so when we click control plus r the component will be rotated or if you give you double click on the right side of your mouse then the uh, many options will be open there you can select rotate option now i want to change the voltage of the dc power source just double click on it and then you can change it to 30 volts and then click okay so the voltage is changed to 30 volts now we required two more things that is ammeter and the voltmeter so instead of selecting two things i am selecting a multimeter so this is one multimeter which you can find in the this toolbar so if you watch the multisim tutorial then it will be easier for you where are the components and all so this is for voltmeter i just want to rotate it just you have to press control plus r in your keyboard thus the component will be rotated so i think all the components are placed uh, yeah one more thing that we left over is the ground that is main one if not the output will not be correct so i am selecting components and then search for ground ground click okay and then place it now we have to connect them with a wire so in order to connect them just we have to select the node and then join so in this way i am selecting all the components and i just want to connect the all those things so 
so this is our final circuit of the pn junction diode now i want to simulate it so before that we have to select the ammeter and the voltmeter just click on the multimeter and select a for the ammeter and v for the voltmeter the second multimeter is selected as the voltmeter by clicking on v so the two multimeters are set as ammeter and the voltmeter now before run you have to click on analyze and simulation and click on dc sweep the start value is 0 and the stop value is 2 the increment is 0.2 click on output click on i of d and then click on run so this is the graph vi characteristics of the pn junction diode so as it is germanium so it is raised from 0.3 After giving the zero point three voltage, cutting voltage, so it is it the graph has raised, so same as the PN junction diode in practical. So I just want to change the name PN junction diode in forward bias. So to get the values in the Excel sheet, click on Tools and then Excel, and then Trace One. Click on OK. again click on okay now a sheet will be displayed on the bottom of your system so here you can see click on it so these are the values so if you want the more values you can just change the uh, stop and start and stop value to 0.2 to 0.1 then you can get more values now i want to change this values or the normalize this values so click on number want to take to the decimal part up to 5 click on okay so the values are changed to the instead of e they have changed to the decimal part now i want a graph same as the graph we got in the simulation that is this graph in the excel sheet so for this for better graph i want to uh, change the increment value to the 0.1 so that uh, i can get more values so that uh, the graph will be more precise so here you can see i got more values select all the values which are required for your graph in the excel sheet i'm copying all those things now click on insert there you can find many charts so i am clicking charts so for the graphs so these are the graphs i am selecting this one okay so this is the graph same as which we got in the pn junction diode simulation the multi sim so it is in the excel sheet with the values of the voltage and the current so same we have to do for the reverse bias also so for the reverse bias just what we have to do is just we have to reverse the that is pn junction diode that's it and the remaining part is same also the voltage is 12 volts for the forward bias we are using 30 volts here we use 12 volts and to simulate it i am taking the start value as 0 and stop value as 3 and increment is 0.2 so same process so this is the graph of the pn junction diode and the reverse bias i want to change the name so click on that design to just you have to tap it then this bar will be open this interface will be open so you just need to change the name and click on okay for the excel sheet click on tool excel trace one okay so excel sheet will be opened on your bottom of your desktop open this so these are the values of the pn junction diode in the reverse bias so for the graph in the excel sheet you have to do the same thing which we have done in the for the forward bias 
just you have to select all the values and then click on insert charts will be open there you have to select the chart which you want So this is about the PN junction diode in the forward bias and the reverse bias. If the video is informative, please do share to your friends, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. I will be uploading more videos regarding this multi-sim.